desire, but I would kind of suppress it because I grew up in a, I'm a first generation American, my parents are immigrants, and so a lot of fellow immigrant kids know that becoming a musician is not like a feasible career choice, um, especially in Middle Eastern culture. And so I always enjoyed music, but I never believed that it was something that I could do as a career. Uh, just because it was never, I was never told that I could, you know what I'm saying? Nobody, and there really weren't many people in the Persian community that were pursuing music, so it just wasn't something that seemed realistic. Um, but in 2017, when I moved to California, um, I recorded my first original song, and the way that that all happened was kind of crazy. It felt like there was confirmations coming into my path that like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And so once I recorded that song, put it out, got really great feedback, a bunch of doors just started opening for me. And I'm a strong believer that when you're headed in the direction of your life's purpose, um, that things will happen around you that will continue to push you in that direction. And that's kind of what happened for me. Um, so that was when I really was like, I can do this. And I started to take steps to getting into music more seriously. Was, yeah, 2017. But even before that, I would like record hooks on songs for rappers and like record covers and put them on YouTube. But I didn't really see myself like, okay, I can be an artist and this is my bread and butter until uh, a couple years. was actually, I had a bunch of songs that were slated to be singles before I started New In Town, but that song I kind of wrote it once I found out that I was moving to Chicago. Um, and so then I was like, all right, moving to this new city, let's speak something positive into existence. Um, so I wrote New In Town. And we basically, we modeled it after like another song that I had done earlier that we weren't ready to put out yet. Um, <laughs> And we did it, and we were like, oh, wow, like, this, is, this is the single, like, this is it. Um, it just had a really fresh sound, and it was upbeat and positive and uplifting. And so um, we decided that that was going to be the song to, to be put out, and I was like, it, it was just so relevant to my life at the time, mm -hmm. since I really was moving to a new place. It was a story that came from me. Right. Um, and I feel like a lot of times, I mean, for me, myself, I have a hard time putting myself into mm -hmm. the story. It's just a, a vulnerability thing. So this was a song that really was about me. And so I felt like that's authentic and that's what I wanted to put out. Right. Yeah, we're doing an EP first, um, but the EP is not gonna come for another like year or so. Mm -hmm. We're gonna continue rolling out singles. Okay. I have a lot of music done and I have a lot of music like halfway done. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we have another single that's slated to come out this year, and then a couple next year, and then hopefully by this time next year, the EP will be ready, and we're gonna put that out. Right. Yeah. So I do, I want to continue rolling music out, uh, but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself to put out a project soon, because I think I can sustain myself on singles. I think people are already excited for what's coming up next. I'm excited for what's, I know what the next song is. Well, yeah, so <laughs> Ready for it to come out. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna mostly be singles and visual and then it's a project. So I think one of the most impactful aspects of traveling, I think, is realizing that you know nothing. I think when we stay in one geographic location our whole lives. And I understand that a lot of people don't have much of a choice because of different life circumstances. Um, but when we do end up staying in one place and we don't put an active effort into like expanding our knowledge, we start to think that we know everything. Because we do know a lot about that neighborhood we live in or that city we live in. But when you step out and you go to different countries, to different states, to different cultural communities, you realize that you really don't know anything and that the world is so much bigger than, than your own personal world. Um, and so I try to carry that through with my music because like I never want to come off in my songs as if I think I know or I have the answers to everything. Um, a lot of my songs kind of give that message of like I don't really know what I'm doing 
but like I feel like my heart's in the right place and I have good intention and I'm trying to manifest the things in my life, you know? Um, and I think that's a lesson that I learned through traveling. Um, I also try to incorporate like different elements and different styles of music mm -hmm. that I've heard throughout right. my experiences in life. Um, I really want to try to integrate Persian elements and instruments into my music too because my culture is a huge part of my identity. Um, but yeah, I definitely learned a lot of lessons through, through travel um, that I try to apply. My music as a female songwriter, I think as women uh, in the industry, especially women who are singers, a lot of times the feelings that we that we portray in our music are kind of put in these boxes. Mm -hmm. And so either we're like super drunk in love, like right. oh my god, like blindly into this person, or we're like heartbroken, mm -hmm. and we like don't want to get out of bed, we're so sad, or we're pissed off, and we want to like slash somebody's tires, like. These are usually the boxes that right. we put into, and I I feel like my music is going to transcend these boxes because we feel more things than those things. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you know we don't know what we want, we're comfortable with that, and sometimes we know exactly what we want, and somebody can't provide that to us. You know, it's like, but we don't talk about those things. Right. And a lot of the mainstream music of women, a lot of it's written by men, and a lot of it is shoving us into those particular boxes. So. I just want my music to make women feel that it's okay to not feel those things. Like you can be chopping it up with somebody and you're not drunk in love, you're not super sad and you're not pissed, you know right. what I'm saying? Like you can be somewhere else and that's okay. So I think that's that's what I want to try to do.